Good morning, Sunrisers. I'm Dr. Karen Emerson, and today I have with me Jack and Moo Moo, and this is actually Momo, and this is Meryl and Bean. And we're basically here to talk about exotics and guinea pigs. Um, Meryl and Jack have several guinea pigs. They keep a good watch on them. And what my main focus is today is to really be aware of your guinea pigs, what the proper diet is, what they're supposed to eat, and when they act like they're getting sick. Because as we all know, or if you don't know, exotic animals will actually hide their illnesses until they're pretty sick and when they start showing signs. Luckily, Marilyn and Jack are very, very, very uh, good at, at checking their guinea pigs daily. They actually noticed that Bean had a small swelling under her, her neck and they brought her in. And it actually turned out to be an abscess that we had to surgically open and drain. Uh, Momo here actually came in with some abnormal breathing, which a lot of times people will kind of wait till the abnormal breathing turns into sneezing and nasal drainage. They didn't. They went ahead and brought her in and we actually aus auscultated her chest where it means I listened to her lungs and she did have an upper respiratory infection developing almost like a pneumonia. So of course we started her on antibiotics. And over here, uh, Moo Moo actually presented with an eye infection that they noticed that she was scratching. So basically what I'm trying to get across here is when you have this many guinea pigs or you have this many exotics it's so important to pay attention see who's eating see who's not eating if they start going off by themselves or staying in the corner or if you notice some sneezing or even diarrhea don't wait to make that call go ahead and make that call because it could be a lot worse than you think so if you have guinea pigs or rabbits or any other exotics, give us a call and let us just do that preliminary checkup. Let us check their teeth, check their eyes, check their lungs to make sure they're not going to have any issues. And I promise your pets will thank you. WCBI Animal Health with Dr. Emerson was brought to you by Emerson Animal Hospital in West Point.